Welcome everyone. I wanted to put out a video just to share with you um, the people that I follow in the financial community here on YouTube and a little bit on Twitter. Um, and this is just a follow up a video that I recently put out for um, for you guys. It was titled warning higher prices, higher cost of living coming in my two cents. And so if you didn't see it, I'll put the link for that at the end of this video. But um, as I was going through my subscriptions, I realized like I follow a lot of people. Um, so just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna narrow it down to people who are just in the financial community, but there's a little bit of overlap with news. And so I'm probably gonna reserve those for another video because I do find that to be also helpful. A lot of these people, they're commenting on what's going on currently within the news and within the market and how that is affecting us um, economically and financially. And so I do think it's worthwhile for me to make that other video um, and for you to watch it. But again, that'll be later for now. We're just going to focus on people in the financial community that I follow. And I think you'll notice that there's a theme to all these people. Um, I do follow a lot of people who are not really believers in the Fed. <laughs> I have people who are for decentralized finance. Um, people who um, are trying to get away from the, the World Economic Forum's Great Reset Plan. Uh, they're awake. They're aware politically, spiritually as to what's going on with the 0.01 percenters who own the majority of uh, this world, they're, they're aware of all of this, okay? Those are the kind of people I follow. I've listened to a lot of people and I try to give them a fair, you know, shake. And, you know, people wake up at different times, you know? And so um, the people I don't follow are the normies, the people that are telling you get into the stock market and hoard cash and, um, people who don't know who the World Economic Forum is, or if they do, they're like, I don't see what the big deal is. Okay, like, I, can't, I just can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> but let's get to my list. And we're going to start off with the very first person I ever started listening to. And that was gosh, back in like 2008, uh, Kiyosaki, Robert Kiyosaki. Um, and some of you might recall, he wrote the best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And um, he has probably influenced me for the longest amount of time. And he's very much about, you know, investing in gold, investing in precious metals. And, um, you know, recently he's gotten into crypto and disclosure here. I am... You know, I'm on his newsletter list and I am taking his crypto course through um, Rocket Fuel, Jeff Wang. Um, yeah, I've been studying crypto with him and uh, very happy with it, by the way. Um, have no plans on canceling. I'm very happy, very happy. And so, yeah, I mean, they're not, I, nobody's paying me, by the way, to put their name out there, not not that I'm a big channel or anything, but I'm just saying that the people that I'm listing today are people that I honestly watch, follow, support, value, okay? This is a genuine list here, not paid for, okay? So the Rich Dad channel, um, if you uh, look at, you know, the stuff that he has out, he's going to be talking about, you know, Bitcoin, crypto, um, the stock market. Um, he does have some people come on and the interviews that he has are really good. Uh, sometimes it's just him talking. Uh, look at that, investing mistakes. He's, you know, gambling versus investing. And I also got to say, you know, Jeff Wang, who is doing his crypto course, these are very solid people about Bitcoin. They're not going to get on there and tell you to do Dogecoin and you know, take risky, you know, gamble your money. These are people that are really about <laughs> the straight and narrow path as much as is humanly possible, right? Um, 
but uh, and he started in real estate that's how he got his start and so he talks about how he loves debt because um, he right he takes out loans to invest in property and then he uses it at the end of the year he uses the debt to write off taxes and talks about how this is how the rich avoid taxes legally and it tells you how to do it too so um, a very think outside of the box kind of person. He's not going to be the person that's going to tell you, you know, go to school, work hard, get into debt, save your money. He's going to be, you know, he's going to be like, yeah, cash is trash, <laughs> you know, and he tells you how to protect uh, your money and how to work smarter, not harder. So I, you know, can't say enough good things about uh, Robert Kiyosaki. I also follow him on Twitter. Yeah, he's at the real Kiyosaki is where you can follow him. And Twitter is a great place to get instant, right, real time information that helps you to be more responsive financially to what's going on. Now, recently I found out, I guess over the last year, I found out about Lynette Zhang with ITM trading and she's another gold person and she sells it okay so um, sometimes though I gotta say and she's into precious metals as well and she talks about how you can go to like estate sales and buy the you know silverware <laughs> um, but she's got a lot of um, she talks about the reset she's very aware of this World Economic Forum she's a foreign uh, former my bad, I don't know where that came from, former banker. Um, so she knows all about the stock market and investing, but she's not even telling people to do that. She's telling people um, precious metals is what she's really into. Um, but look, she's got some content on, you know, cryptos, and she, you know, often does a lot of Q&A, often um, is interviewed by a lot of other people uh, in the financial community on YouTube. And what I like about her is that she's just no nonsense. She's just like, this is what's going on and this is why. And she explains, she's really thorough um, in explaining, like seeing through all the smoke and mirrors that's going on uh, with the Fed, with these, um, you know, really powerful wheeling, dealing type of people. Look at this market manipulation, um, things like that is what she's talking about. Okay. Look, she even had Gerald Salente on there and I really like him for the news. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of, she helps you to, to see through the BS. Okay. To understand what's going on, particularly for those of us who are, not in any way savvy about that that world like i don't live in that world okay <laughs> i don't live off of wall street i never have never will um but she more or less has so good person to follow um ken McElroy is another one that i watch off and on um and he's got a background in real estate as well um he's really good with teaching things and um, I appreciate that, uh, especially if you are like me and a lot of Americans who do not have um, a lot of financial literacy, like zero financial, like we've got to learn, we've got to understand. And because this is why they get away with all the stuff they're getting away with, uh, because we don't know what they're doing. Like we, it's a whole nother language. It's a whole nother world. We don't know how to translate and so he will break it down you know uh what what is going on uh what's happening with inflation you know he explains that um and he forecasts things that are going to be big like uh, businesses that will be beyond big in 2021 and beyond and but again he comes from a real estate background so um a really solid person to to look at for that type of content if you're interested. Another person just um, for economics education, but also that ties into with current world events. I recently found this guy, his channel is This Is John Williams. And I don't know, he just has some like catchy titles and uh, you know, like talks about what stock 
uh, Bill Gates has invested in and, and that he's investing in and it's going to be the next Amazon, but it's a, from another country. Um, talks about the collapse of California and New York City and how it's all planned. Um, guess who controls Bitcoin now? Well, see, you know, this is this is all like, oh, I hate to say clickbaity. <laughs> and some of these people that I'm recommending, by the way, they, they do have, in my opinion, clickbaity stuff. But um, I mean, in all fairness, it is YouTube. How are you going to get noticed on there if you don't have a little bit of that? I, and I and I hate that that's the way it is, but it is. But um, yeah, he's got a lot of really um, good content uh, covering that divorce with Bill Gates, um, the eviction moratorium, the Fed. He's talking about Biden taking control of bank accounts. Sweet Jesus. Um, so another one I like to follow is Graham Stephan. Okay, this guy's funny. <laughs> This guy's so funny. He's got always got this funny little way to just out of left field, out of nowhere, you never see it coming. He's like, and click the like button and you know and and, and he and he flashes up some pictures of like a baby giraffe or a baby seal or something for clicking the like button and I'm just like, Oh my god, this guy's hilarious. But um yeah, on a serious note, um he has some pretty good content. He's really, he's a millennial. He's really fast moving um, with his content. You know, he's kind of quick. Like I watch him and I'm like, damn, I can't even keep up with you. But I mean, he's on point and just hammering it out. Uh, again, some of these titles, a little clickbaity. Um, don't agree with him on everything. He's into the stock market, a um, little bit into crypto, but like stuff like this, why I'm selling Bitcoin. Um, I, I wouldn't sell Bitcoin right now. I don't agree with everything that he says or does, but he's knowledgeable and he's dropping facts. And um, some of this like, okay, while well, you will regret buying a home in 2021, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, really great content. Um, so I would, I would recommend uh, checking him out if you are interested. I think that's about all I had to say about him. Yeah. Okay, and then um, Karam Khalil, all right, is uh, a guy that I've recently found, and he's a realtor in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Oh, I just remembered what I wanted to say about Graham Stephan. He's in real estate as well. He recently left California. <laughs> I think he's in like Arizona or Nevada right now. But anyway, um, very interesting. A lot of these people that I'm recommending, some of them are from California and they're, they're exiles. Okay, they're like, I can't live there anymore. It's too expensive. And they got plenty of money. But they're like, not living there, not giving California my money. All right, so uh, Karam. Karam, Karam, sorry if I'm mispronouncing, Khalil. All right, he is in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, a realtor, and um, really sharp guy, drops a lot of knowledge, particularly people like myself who live in the Texas area, okay? I live in Texas, and if you want to understand what's going on with the real estate market out here, um, he's got a really... Um, you know, good pulse on, on what's what's going on uh, with the market. And he talks about a lot of things. He talks about fiat currency, right? Cash is king. And I, I'm not, I've, I've been more of the cash is trash mentality, but I did watch this and I he kind of, he was quite persuasive, I gotta say, where I'm like, okay, you're making some valid points here. I'm, I haven't totally abandoned my viewpoint, but I do see yours and I find some middle ground here. Um, but yeah, he's talking about saving cash for the crash. And, and it's like, well, you know, the guy's on it. He's pretty smart about some stuff. So he's definitely influenced me. Um, but like I said, talking about fiat, talking about the financial crisis, crypto markets, Bitcoin and Elon Musk, you know, inflation. Um, it's more than just real estate, although he's got videos here about the housing crisis and the um you know, the, the housing bubble that is going on. And so you contrast that with, um, there are some people who are, you know, in California that I follow, and that's 
there's there's a contrast there, right? Because there's this migration going, and and people who are talking about real estate in California have a totally different perspective than people in Texas talking or Florida talking about real estate, right? Because there's people leaving California and they're coming to Texas and Florida. So, you know, that's just something to bear in mind when you're listening to these people on real estate. Well, where are they coming from? What's their perspective? And are they looking at it as a whole? Um, Because some of these issues are very localized. Another person I follow is George Gammon. This guy is brilliant. I mean, he is like over my head, okay? But he gets this whiteboard out and he just starts explaining everything like really complicated financial stuff, economics stuff. Like, and I've never even taken an an economics class, okay? Never in my life. And this is probably like high level, but he finds a way to present this material and make it understandable because he's got like a whiteboard there and then he's got an editor that's helping him to kind of like embellish his presentation in such a way where you can understand how all the things connect that he's laying out on the dry erase board. Um, Yeah, he's got some people that he interviews from time to time. Um, He does some live chats, Q&A. Personally, I'm the biggest fan of his dry erase board presentations because I learn so much and I realize like why so many uh, people are poor because there's such a massive gap in knowledge. There's people are financially illiterate and it's not an accident. Um, that would be like a whole nother video that I, you know, could put out some other time. But um, look at this. Is copper the next Bitcoin expert? Say yes. And look, I missed that. And you know what? Copper's going through the roof right now. So my bad. And, you know, and I put in that last video that I put out, I, I mentioned copper. Like if you were going to invest in commodities, copper's doing good right now. But unfortunately, look, he put that out two weeks ago. And now, wow, so this is somebody definitely you want to watch. Um, Look at in the Fed, hashtag in the Fed. These are people who are awake politically. They know what's up, and that's why I follow them. All right, another person who's also awake is Mark Moss. And um, brilliant guy, another person who has been part of the mass exodus from California. Uh, I think he is in Puerto Rico now. He went to Puerto Rico. And so he's got a lot of um, really great content. He also has a great presentation, explains things very well. And um, he's, you know, into crypto. And actually, he's got a newsletter that I just started subscribing to. Um, He puts out uh, a newsletter twice a week free on um, crypto so um but he covers a lot of stuff he look at this the great american heist uh what's going on and how currencies die he talks about history he gives a lot of facts and a lot of stats um the government is coming for your money economic revolution so um, I really like Mark Moss. I really do. Um, another person who's just very awake, very awake. Okay, Dollar Vigilante. And I, um, this is the one who actually got me into crypto last year. I started watching Dollar Vigilante. And I don't know, something about it, he just got to me. And I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm good. We're done thinking about it. I'm going to go do it. And um, I got into crypto for the first time because of this guy, um, also known as Jeff Berwick. So um, this channel looks like it's really small. That's because he's been taken down numbers, a number of times. And actually, if you look at these videos here, (laughs) I don't even watch his videos on here anymore because uh, YouTube has harassed the hell out of him to such a degree that what I do is I just get his content off of Twitter and I I follow him mostly like every day on Twitter and um, 
he's got you can go on to dollarvigilante.com to get the videos um, but usually he will put a link for his videos on his twitter page yeah here it is where you can you can go watch it you can go watch it from the link and that's how i usually get it because yeah this looks like not a lot of subscribers looks like i haven't watched any of it and that's why um, but if you want to follow him on youtube go ahead if he disappears you know why you know where to find him really hot content really hot and um he does by the way have i believe he's got some cryptocurrency um mentoring program and i checked into it about a year ago but i it, i couldn't afford it at that time and i think he's come down in price so it's something i might revisit again i might look into um at another time um amtv i actually have been following this guy since oh my god like 2013 and um amtv stands for um alternative media television and this guy used to be like in the alternative news and an alternative journalist and i loved him for that content uh, but after 2017, it was a massive shift with people like that. They got demonetized. And I think he switched gears into crypto, which is now what he's talking about on here. And I follow him a lot. He's a Christian, by the way. He's a Christian guy, very much an end the Fed guy, politically awake and aware and knows what's up. Um, I got into OXT because of him. He said Orchid OXT was going to go up. And so I just put a little bit in and damn, it went up, you know. Um, he also has a crypto course that you can take, um, which I'm seriously thinking about investing in. He's doing well. He's a family man. Love that. Love the family man. Love it. Um, sexy, right? And smart, right? Um, smart is sexy. <laughs> okay. So, and and he's he just is living a beautiful life in Hawaii. And so... Um, he puts a lot of like he he'll go live a lot and put a lot of real time he's really on the cutting edge of things um and by the way i also follow him on twitter under the name christopher green so if you're not on twitter my god you know well Eh, Twitter being on Twitter is kind of like being on Facebook so our YouTube I have mixed feelings about it but um, I do enjoy connecting with these people on here let's like, see he's he's a red pillar yeah I follow the red pillars <laughs> not the blue pillars okay and then finally I'm gonna show you um, a guy I recently found from Australia and he um, his, his channel name is Michael Invests and tries to make money. Oh, how humble, you know, but the guy is really smart. Uh, yeah, sometimes I'm like, man, this is so clickbaity, but I mean, the guy is really, when you click on to the video, I mean, it, it, the title might look sensational, but when you click on it, there's actually substance to it. So, and he starts off every video talking about holy smokes. I mean, at, at some point I'm like, is everything holy smokes, dude? <laughs> But at the same time, um, well, maybe maybe we should be concerned because after you listen to the knowledge he's dropping, it's like, okay, yeah, like this is pretty flamboyant, right? This is flamboyant, all this red and atomic bombs going off, but nevertheless, um, worth listening to, I, I will say that. And um, also giving a different perspective because he's from Australia and so, uh, I think it's good for us to hear what people, especially Americans, it's good for us Americans to hear what people from other countries um, have to say, what their perspectives are, because, you know, sometimes we can be in our own bubble and we're not we're not seen. But, you know, this guy actually, he, he doesn't just talk about Australia's economy. He talks a lot about America's economy and he's very knowledgeable about the Fed and all of that and uh, very awake. And so... Um, and again, I learned from him. He influences me. So these are the people right now that I'm following in the financial community. And, you know, if I have left somebody out that you really think I should listen to or that, you know, other people should listen to, please comment down below. I would love to 
uh, hear from you, you know, who else? Who else in the financial community um, deserves a good listen to? All right, thanks for listening, and uh, until next time, be blessed.